the offensive line had come on strong thanks to the weight training program provided by strength coach Dan Riley and a nickname given to them by their line coach Joe Bugle. Bugle simply called them the Hogs. Inside handoff of the trap by the tight end and Riggins now gets out over the 45. That's kind of what you figure they're going to do now from here on out. Give it to Riggins, let the big hogs up front, and they call them the hogs. It's not us, those big offensive linemen. Clear the way, they want to hold on to the football and take the time off the clock. Suddenly, Washington was investing in hog futures. They start hanging together, they become closer and closer and closer. They played hard together and it's really mushroomed. But that's the eighth one against them this year. Finally broke it through there at 230 pounds. Those skins are clicking along, using everybody. There's the coach. Why the guy? Why the guy? Coach Joe Gibbs and there's Riggins going off. And they really count on him for his end of all games. And a nickname given to them by their line coach, Joe Bugle. Bugle simply called them the Hogs. It just happened one day at practice at summer camp. I said, okay, you hogs, let's get down to the bullpen down there. And the guys kind of chuckled about it because I use it as more or less an affectionate term. The hogs, they call it offensive line, and you saw why. They were all down there scrambling around. You don't even got on those shirts. I wouldn't mind having them, though. That may be a collector's item. This team might go on in and play day by day and win the big one. The offensive line all has those t-shirts that uh, has the hog emblem on them. And they gave one to number 44, John Riggins, because he gets some tough yards and, and scrunches around in the mud also, they said. They talked about the, the efforts of Riggins and that offensive line up front of him and how they just keep cranking it up as the game goes on. And that's the reason right there that they call number 44 the diesel. 43% of his yards come in the fourth quarter when the game is on the line and they need ball control. There's Riggins again on the touchdown. Straight ahead blocking over on the left-hand side by Russ Grimm, the left guard, perhaps their best offensive lineman, and big tackle Joe Jacoby. But Russ Grimm and the Hogs were still getting no respect. Yeah, see who wins. Today we won. They said that they're, they're going to come in here, you know, they're the butchers and we're the Hogs. The thing they forgot is before a Hog goes to the butcher, somebody got to kill it, and uh, nobody even come close today. These huge porkers weren't graceful, or pretty, but they sure love their work. And so it was that the capital of the free world became hog heaven, and only one outsider was allowed to join the exclusive fraternity, a groundhog named John Riggins. Behind his vintage swine, Riggins added another analogy. He was also known as the Diesel. <laughs> Look out, killer, here comes the Diesel. <laughs> yes, sir, here it comes on 395. <laughs>